So we was over here, we actually looking back where I was at. I was at like the storm con a center just so was happening then what you want to do and there will be a, a t timer like the box you want to see a different part you just some of you just only want to see the weather going on over time but there are other things I need to talk about still. Just today, I was talked to, I mean, yesterday on the 13th, I mean, on the 13th, I was talked to with a Ray Timmer, and it was really cool show, and we had a lot of snowfall, and uh, we have lots of like news person I win like couple surprises and also those things as well. Just keep an eye on it for you to see it what's going on maybe in the future with a strong cape. And uh, it was a lot of fun cheering with the ant. Show you what this website for the storm chase for the maybe the next year I was at. It was a lot of fun activities over time. I meet a lot of new people to quite for it was happening over time. The, the round Falls. I won, but it was on here. I was I uh, won a radio for these things over time. This information that you know what's going on over time was at Arena. That's why I was not upload any videos. It was very cool place was totally worth it for the drive I was at. Let's go back to the weather going on over time. The, the storms are going popping up uh, November 6th at 7 p.m. or September, I mean today, but there was a little bit of dew points at 8 p.m. and there's going to be more stuff going on over time at the back channel. The lots of things are going to be interesting for the next second season going to begin, but more important thing about the wind shear over that when it, it, it is over time by it. This stuff, wind shear over time, does you know what it, it is still going on over time? when it is there. Just if you know what is happening with the wind shear over there, but there's still still lots of um, snow left over over time take place with it. The snow are going to be a little bit more than uh, usual. Eventually, will be more snow around, like around Great Lakes and uh, all the way to the northeast and uh, 
will be much more bigger round over time. But these low small storms is just bring just damage winner. And also very interesting about it. So how much the there's still a lot of snow and uh, we need to look how much winter will go be there. The winter is going to be a little bit stronger sometime with the NAM post to choose over time for each day but the winter is the very not need for the greens but but the cave is still going to be in there but more important looking at the wind shear about the second season or like winter severe weather it's just going to be a very much very cooler area with the temperature with above or below average temperature with the temperature difference it is much more better picture it is each day fresh will be a very good art of blast in a eventually will will going to be a very long for very cold for November with a peaking with the above but there's not lots of enough time for the dew points will arrive over time but it's really see very cold dew points but it's really good enough like sedimentation over time but with the average like when it, some areas have dry and not wet some areas will going to get moisture with the, the nice nighting on the night or the 17 18 yeah 18 for that water sedimentation inside the storm for the water sedimentation totals for it there was going to be a little bit some rain on the 16th around the the west coast region and also a little bit around Great Lakes and also the North Plains so the region it is going taking over time it is taking place with the models for the another ingredients for the storms Hello. so when something very very good enough for the storm will be rising on the 16th and it will be very very warm and also will be good energy or something like that to keep an eye on it for those storms for the event on November 17th to keep an eye on it and also there was a lot of wind shear about uh, the, the next storm system to happening very soon and there will be another event about winter over time so let you know what's going on over time in case for that for that thunderstorm or like it does like 
tell one with, with dread, but hard to tell, but really hard to tell, but it could be there on the 18th or on the 17th or 16th for those thunder storms out of place with the event. So far there was not a lot of shear already for the storms, but there's still maybe a little bit came for it to come by at our time each day with it with the wind day there, there was a little bit swirl down there just to see what it is there that's a little bit weird a little In the blue area, that's when the colder air will be. On the, maybe on the 17th will be another little low pressure to bring those thunderstorms for a couple of days. We need to keep an eye on it over time for each model going to get with the end. With the low pressure, going to get in and eventually a ultra blast I was showing you earlier. This will be a weird severe thunderstorm weekend and with a little bit ultra blast. This is extreme weather out here.